What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on WWE Super Showdown. This is actually the third pay-per-view that WWE has done in Saudi Arabia, and there's one more coming in later 2019. And for me, uh, back in 2018, whenever they announced that they're gonna be doing global pay-per-views on this scale, I assumed they'd be taking it all over the world. They did do one Super Showdown already in Australia, but every other pay-per-view that they have done has been in Saudi Arabia, which I mean, to me, I understand why, because they make great money doing a show there. But if they wanted to do a global pay-per-view, something like this, where there's two or three global pay-per-views every year on addition to their regular pay-per-views, then they should be doing it a little bit more large scale and doing it a couple different locations instead of always Saudi Arabia. So with that being said, that is my opinion on the Saudi Arabia shows. I just am not a huge fan of them, and I think they could be doing it in other locations and making it more like worldwide, like they announced it back in 2018. But let's just get into the today's WWE Super Showdown pay-per-view prediction. As usual, I have all of the matches in front of me. Let's get right into this. Up first, we have Lucha House Party versus Lars Sullivan. If you guys watched recently, Lars Sullivan got knocked out of the ring by Lucha House Party, but it didn't take long for Lucha for Lars Sullivan to come back and attack all three members of Lucha House Party. To have three cruiserweights go after a big guy that is, in my opinion, I think it's mostly gimmick, but he is unstable whenever it comes to his character and when it comes to him in the ring, I don't think it was a good idea for Lucha House Party. I think it's awesome that the cruiserweights the, who are part of the cruiserweight division are getting opportunities on main roster to do matches like this. Honestly, I think that's amazing. But going against Lars Sullivan, we've seen what he did to our truth We've seen what he did to a couple other superstars. It doesn't make sense to have cruiserweights go against him. But there's three of them, so there is that. So given what they did the other day, if they continue with their speed in this match, they might have a chance of maybe, if it is a disqualification match, getting him counted out or disqualified. Other than that, if it's just a regular match without disqualification and without countouts, Lars Sullivan is going to win. So my final prediction for this match, given the strength of Lars Sullivan, is it's going to be Lars Sullivan taking the win. Next is Braun Strowman versus Bobby Lashley. As I've mentioned time and time again, I'm a huge fan of Bobby Lashley. Braun Strowman, I do like where he is going and what he has been doing. However, this match here, honestly, I feel like Braun Strowman is going to win, especially in Saudi Arabia. That makes sense, especially since he is more face now than he's ever been, and Bobby Lashley is a major heel right now, at least in my opinion. Like I said, I'm a fan of Bobby Lashley. I just think Braun Strowman's going to win, but I'm going to make my final prediction Bobby Lashley because personally, I would like to see Bobby Lashley win and maybe face Seth Rollins in the future for the Universal Championship. So that's my final prediction for this match is Bobby Lashley is going to win. Next up is Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon. This is something that's been growing for a while now, and I'm excited to see it in a match. Finally, uh, I know they fought before, but this to me is going to be interesting. It's a little bit of a change up from The Miz all the freaking time facing Shane McMahon. Nothing against The Miz. Like I said, again, I'm a huge fan of The Miz. But having Shane McMahon face him time and time again and have the rivalry go on for so long, it was interesting, but I, I, I wanted to see other things out of The Miz, basically. This match here that it's Roman Reigns versus Shane McMahon, I think it's a great idea. Shane McMahon has a few goons right now that might help him get the win, but something tells me The Miz is not done with Shane McMahon, and I think The Miz is going to help Roman Reigns win this match, and possibly our truth I know Shane McMahon has Elias and Drew McIntyre, but I think our truth may help Roman Reigns win, and definitely, like I said, The Miz might make an appearance and help him win as well. So my final prediction for this match, given all of the background stuff, who has who on whose side, I'm going to say Roman Reigns is going to win this match, especially since I think in Saudi Arabia, they're a huge fan of him. It makes sense for him to win and have Shane McMahon, who's a huge heel, lose. So that's my final prediction for this match. Next is the Intercontinental Championship. It is going to be the champion, the Demon Finn Balor. He's going to be using his Demon gimmick, which is more intenseful than just regular Finn Balor, versus Andre Andread. 
Honestly, I'm a fan of Andread. I think that he's going to have great things in the future, and he is going to have single opportunities for championships in the future, for solo titles. I just don't think going against the demon Finn Balor, it's going to be right now. If it was regular Finn Balor, by all means, Andrea, that's who I would choose. But since it's the demon Finn Balor in Saudi Arabia, I think that's who is going to win. For me, before I continue on with my predictions, whenever it comes to the Saudi Arabia shows, the one thing I don't like is it's pretty self-explanatory of who is going to win it's pretty apparent who's going to win whoever is face whoever the saudi arabia crowd cheers for the most that's who typically wins the matches it's not like regular wwe matches from any other place in the world where it could go either way which is what you expect you might think somebody's going to win and that would make sense for them to win but in saudi arabia it's more one-sided of whoever they cheer for is going to win at least that's how i feel but for this match here my final prediction is finn balor is going to retain the intercontinental championship next is triple h versus randy orton once again the saudi arabia shows like to go back on old rivalries from 10 years ago sometimes 20 years ago that's also why I'm not a fan of them, because it's stuff that we've seen before. But in Saudi Arabia, they've never seen it live. That's why I think WWE wants to bring that to their shows. But Triple H versus Randy Orton. This one here, the Triple H hasn't been in a pay-per-view since, I want to say, Crown Jewel. I don't think he's had a, an official match since Crown Jewel. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does. But against Randy Orton, honestly, when Randy Orton came back, was going for the United States Championship against Jeff Hardy... The whole ear thing at Hell in a Cell and all that stuff, I wasn't a fan of. And I just didn't like Randy Orton's gimmick. That since may have changed and maybe going against Triple H, who is a major heel. I'm not sure in Saudi Arabia how they feel about him. But for this match, I'm going to say Randy Orton may have a chance to win. But my final prediction is going to be Triple H. I just feel like that might be what the Saudi Arabia show would want to see. And that might be what WWE is going to do in Saudi Arabia. So my final prediction is going to be Triple H for this match. Next is the WWE Championship match. We have Kofi Kingston, who I am a huge supporter of now that he is champion. It's well-deserved. Versus Dolph Ziggler. It was originally going to be Kevin Owens, but Owens, along with other WWE superstars, voiced their opinions on Saudi Arabia and said they are not going to be making an appearance there. There is quite a few superstars now that are not going to be going. Based on how they feel about Saudi Arabia and their rules and everything that goes on in Saudi Arabia that they don't want to attend matches. And in my opinion, it is their right, if they're competing, of where they want to go. If they don't want to go somewhere like that country, they should have the right for that, in my opinion. But with it being Dolph Ziggler, who is just returning now, and I think it was basically he was just chosen because he's been on the road doing comedy shows and doing stuff outside of the WWE. The only reason he was in the last Royal Rumble is because he was in Phoenix at the time for a comedy show, and they called him and told him, can you come? And he was like, yeah, because that means a double payday for him. So he attended the Royal Rumble. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been in it. So I think this was just because Kofi Kingston, or sorry, uh, Kevin Owens was not going in the uh, Saudi Arabia show. He pulled out of it and they needed to find somebody last minute and Dolph Ziggler may have been available. So they chose him. It's awesome that he gets a championship opportunity for the WWE championship, but it's Kofi Kingston. I don't think Dolph Ziggler returning this fast is going to win the championship. And if he does, it's almost like a slap to the face of not only Kofi Kingston, but everybody else that has been growing up in the rankings for the championship it's going to be a slap in the face if, Kofi, if uh, Dolph Ziggler wins because he hasn't been there for months now. On the other hand, every almost every championship Dolph Ziggler has won for the first time, the United States, the Intercontinental, he won them from beating Kofi Kingston in a match. So it would be ironic if he does beat Dol uh, Kofi King if if Dolph Ziggler does beat Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship, then that would continue because he's never held the WWE Championship. He has held the World Heavyweight Championship, but not the WWE. So it would be ironic to see that happen, but it's Kofi Kingston. I don't think Kevin Owens is done yet. The rivalry may continue after Super Showdown. I think, honestly, Dolph Ziggler is just a fill-in, just like at the last Saudi Arabia show when... Um, I can't remember who it was. Uh, I think Daniel Bryan backed out, but I can't remember who replaced him for the match. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be happening. I think it's just a fill-in for now. So don't expect to see Dolph Ziggler returning for long unless they can make something happen in this match and something iconic happens. 
final prediction for this match is going to be Kofi Kingston. Next, we have the Universal Championship match, Seth Rollins versus Baron Corbin. Like I said back at WrestleMania, Baron Corbin beating Kurt Angle is going to open up opportunities for him in the future for championship opportunities and new gimmick maybe and new rivalries and this is exactly what I was talking about. So this match here, I personally don't think Baron Corbin is going to win the Universal Championship yet and I don't think he's going to beat Seth Rollins. If he does, it might be by count out or something like that. So Seth Rollins is still going to be champion. Baron technically beat the champion, but he's not going to be the new champion because it was by count out. So if that happens, I could see that happening personally. But Seth Rollins, I think Seth Rollins is going to retain and he's going to continue to be the Universal Champion. That just makes sense to me. I think big things are going to happen to the Universal Championship in the future. So to have Seth Rollins retain the championship makes perfect sense. So that's my final prediction for this match. I do think Baron Corbin is going to have more opportunities in the future, especially if he does change his gimmick soon because a lot of people are getting tired of it. So not that this is going to be the only opportunity for Baron Corbin. I think he's going to have more opportunities in the future. I just don't think he's going to win the title yet. So Seth Rollins is my final prediction. And the last match is the first time these two are facing each other, and it is the under Undertaker versus Goldberg. This is one that if you asked me 10, 20 years ago, I would have been excited for. But the fact that these guys are now way past their prime, the Undertaker didn't even appear at WrestleMania this year, which is his iconic stage where he performs usually. And everyone expects him to see him there. It seems like Undertaker's on a Legends contract where if they do these big shows in Saudi Arabia or other pay-per-views, around the world where they're going to be making a lot of money they'll have them attend those and not regular appearances so it does make sense but it seems like he's on a legends contract goldberg we haven't seen him in a long time so it'd be interesting to see what happens with him if, he, if this is going to be a one and done or if he's going to be in other shows in saudi arabia and other large scale pay-per-views in the future but like i said these guys are past their prime i'm not expecting a great match out of them I know the Saudi Arabia show and the Saudi Arabia people are going to be really invested in this match because it's the first time them seeing the match and seeing these guys face each other. It's the first time they face each other, period. They've never faced each other before. But like I said, it would have been nice to see them do it in their prime. For this match, I'm just going to make it simple. I would think The Undertaker is going to win. It'd be awesome if Goldberg were to win, but it's The Undertaker. The Saudi Arabia people love The Undertaker, as do I. Like I said, he's past his prime, so I would like to see him retire instead of keep going on for matches like this, which to me don't make any sense and they have no purpose other than making the company money. But for career-wise, they just don't make any sense. They're just taking his career and almost like they're running into the ground. And I know some people may be offended with me saying that, but it is what it is. So my final prediction for this match is going to be The Undertaker. So that is what it is. So this is my predictions and thoughts on WWE Super Showdown and my thoughts on the Saudi Arabia shows. I'm just not a fan of them. I'd like to see them do more global shows and other locations around the world instead of always being in Saudi Arabia. Out of the five global shows, one has been in Australia, which I was a huge fan of, but the other four, one is going to be in later 2019. The other four have been in Saudi Arabia. Let's change it up. Let's do other things, but comment down below what your predictions are for Super Showdown. Who are you rooting for? Who do you think is going to win? Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.